Hey, welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 22, and today, verses 43 to 46. Let's go straight to it and read it. Then an angel appeared to him from heaven, strengthening him, and being in agony, he prayed more earnestly. Then his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down to the ground. When he rose up from prayer and had come to his disciples, he found them sleeping from sorrow. Then he said to them, Why do you sleep? Rise and pray, lest you enter into temptation. Okay, so Jesus, he's, he's in this, the Garden of Gethsemane, this biggest test. You think being on the cross was the, great, was the greatest test? No. The Garden of Gethsemane was a greater test than being on the cross. But here we have Jesus. He's in great agony. He prays so much that even blood begins to mingle with his perspiration. And he's under the most extreme physical stress, but the, the, the spiritual and emotional stress is, is even infinitely more. And so here's Jesus suffering for you and I. He's, he's innocent, and he's going to pay the price. He's going to take our penalty, and he's going to go up to the cross and, and be killed for, you, for, for, for the thing that you and I are guilty of and should be killed for. Jesus is going to take that for us. And so here is this extraordinary intervention. He prays and prays, and when he comes to the disciples, he finds that they've fallen asleep. So, and he doesn't just, you know, throw up his hands and say, look, I'm done. No, he's just, he just, he's going to die for them anyway. He's going to give his life, his pure, perfect life for their sleepy, not so perfect life. Their life full of sin and guilt. He doesn't condemn them. He just says, okay, pray so that you don't enter into temptation. He's just instructing them all the way to the end. And he, that's instruction for you and I. And so when we've fallen, when we've faltered, when we've uh, not been all we wanted to be spiritually, what would Jesus do? He'd come up and he'd say, hey, you know what? Let's pray. Let's pray so that we don't enter into temptation. He would be encouraging you and he would encourage you today. In fact, I would encourage you right now. Let's pray. Father in heaven, as we begin this day, we're just taking a few moments devotionally to try to connect with you. Lord, help our heart to be open to you. Do mighty things. Intervene. Send your Holy Spirit. Send your holy angels. May we not take one step without an angel helper uh, in front of us taking steps with us. May we be in your plan today, Lord. May we be in the zone, so to speak. May we be there uh, available to you to use in your service. So now, Lord, we ask for these things. And we ask that even when we falter, even when we're asleep in the middle of the greatest test that has ever been, we pray that you'll help us to start all over, Lord, and just come to you in prayer and ask for you to pray that we don't uh, help us so that we don't enter into temptation. This is our prayer today. In Jesus' name, amen. So, friend, don't give up. Don't lose sight of the, of the goal. Uh, keep your eyes fixed on Jesus, Christ crucified. He is our Savior. He is our King, and we can serve him. We can serve him today, all through this day, and he will bless you. And if his blessing didn't come today, wouldn't you still want to serve him all day long?